Hi everybody, my name is Megan McGrath and I'm the Education Programs Manager here at the Duke Lemur Center. Um, so I am about to head out with all of you into natural habitat enclosure number two. Um, now I know some of you are disappointed that we aren't able to do any of our live streaming that we planned on today, um, but I wanted to assure you that we are still interacting with you. If you have any questions for us, please post those in the comments. We'll be consulting with our experts all day long and getting back to all of your questions. So you can definitely still engage with us. We just won't be doing the live streams. Now for heading out into natural habitat enclosure number two, a few very important things to know. We're heading out when they're getting let out for the morning. They've been in for a few nights because it was a little chilly here this past week. Um, and this is a very special natural habitat enclosure because this includes our three month old Shafak infant, Didius, and his family, uh, that's dad Rupert, mom Gisela, and big sister Furia, um, as well as a troop of four ringtails, dad Randy, mom Sophia, and twin daughters Narcissa and Nemesis. And then finally, one of my favorite groups out here at the Lemur Center, a pair of red-fronted lemurs, including Cardinal and Red Bay, who are some sassy elderly lemurs um, that are always really fun to watch out in the forest. Um, so I hope you enjoy our adventure and I hope you stick with us all day long. Oops, almost forgot to mention, while I'm around my coworkers and the lemurs, I wanted to make sure you all know that I will be wearing my face mask, um, so I'll be narrating from behind the camera, uh, but wanted to make sure you knew that we are still practicing our proper safety procedures here. There's mom. All right, so it looks like everybody is settled with breakfast, so I'll introduce you to everyone. Although I may not get all of the ringtails correct, but I hope you'll forgive me. I can always consult with the animal care staff later and correct myself. 
Um, so these guys are easy. This is Mom Gisela, and that is Baby Didius. Um, and then right over here, we have our other members of the Cockerel Shafak troop. Oh, we had a little bit of a disagreement over who was going to get to eat out of this bowl. That's because we have in the collar on the right side, Furia. She is the big sister to Didius. And then we also have Dad Rupert eating out of the same bowl. Now, Dad is usually at the bottom of the totem pole, but Rupert is really excited about his snacks this morning. So he is working on trying to stand his ground to grab um, the carrot or the sweet potato. That's one of their favorite snacks that they get in their bowl. And then right over here, we have a little bit of thievery happening. Um, and that happens sometimes out in the forest. We don't worry too much about it since we check everybody's weight and make sure that they're doing okay throughout the summer as they're free ranging. So this is my favorite pair out here. Yes, even with a baby lemur out here. Um, this is Cardinal and Red Bay. They are red fronted lemurs. They are in their late 20s and they have been free ranging out in this particular habitat for years now. I think it's over a decade. Um, and this is a species that is sexually dichromatic. Um, so it is very easy to tell these two apart. Up top we have Red Bay. She is the female. You can see her facial coloration is a little different. And then whoop, looks like Cardinal has decided to head over there and see what he can find. So you can see his facial coloration is a little different, although he is facing away now. And now we have our ring-tailed lemur troop coming over to join the party. Um, so this is the troop that I'm not sure exactly who is who, but I can always confirm with our animal care staff after the fact. I do know that it includes uh, three girls. So over here we have Mom Sophia, and we had Narcissa and Nemesis, the twin girls. And then hanging out over on this side. Oh, nope, I misidentified already. We have two of our girls over here. Well, then that means that our guy Randy, there he is, is hanging out right under here. So Randy is currently hanging out in the front. He's about to do some scent marking behavior for you. Oh, he's got two forms of scent marking. So the female ring-tailed lemur was scent marking using a gland under her tail, and Randy is scent marking using a spur he has on the inside of his wrist. That is unique to the males in the ring-tailed lemur. So you can see that the cockerel shafak food is one of the more prized items out here. That is because our cockerel shafak get a full diet of veggies every single day out in the forest. Most of our other lemurs just get their chow, which is a special primate food specifically formulated with everything they need because they have all kinds of things out in the forest that they can eat out, can eat out here. Just in this area alone, I can see some muscadine grapevine. Uh, we've got some honeysuckle vines that are growing through. There are mulberry trees out here, other berry bushes. So they have plenty that they can go ahead and eat. But the cockerel shafak have a very special digestive system. So they have to get their full diet, a special type of folivore primate chow, leaf eating primate chow every single day. And then they also get their full slate of veggies. Oh, saw another disagreement between father and daughter about who was gonna get the treats. But let's come back over to what we're all excited to see. There's Gisela and little Didius. And while we're looking at Didius and Gisela, I'll talk a little bit about lemurs and where they come from, why they're here. Um, we'll do a really short version of what we would do on a tour. So lemurs are the most endangered group of mammals on the planet. They are all found on the island of Madagascar, nowhere else in the world in the wild. And they are incredibly important for a few different reasons. Uh, one of the reasons is that they are so endangered. They really need our protection and uh, we need to work to save them. Another reason is that they are incredibly unique. Uh, Madagascar has an incredible amount of biodiversity. There are plants and animals, and of course mammals and the primates, the lemurs, found there that are found nowhere else in the world. So it's an incredibly special and unique place. And then the last reason is that lemurs are relatives of ours. Now they may be distant relatives in terms of the primate family tree, but they can tell us a lot about primate evolution, um, different primate characteristics. Lemurs have been separate from any other branch of the primate family tree 
for tens of millions of years. Their ancestors arrived on Madagascar over 50 million years ago and have been isolated ever since until humans arrived only within the last six or seven thousand years. So they're incredibly unique, incredibly important, and wonderful animals. <laughs>